Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video on the progression of the tank build. Um, as you can see, I have built the outlet for um, the return. Um, I put a ball valve on each side of the tank. So, one, I can control the water flow to each section. And two, so that when my plans are if, say, this section is inhabited by, say, a Trooper Kula and a Picasso Clown pair, I can then take, since the water is all the same in all these sections, I could take the eggs and put them over here and turn off the water volume, turn off, sorry, turn off the water flow, thus decreasing the flow a little on this end so the water won't flow in there. So I could have like a little section to have clownfish babies in one area of the tank instead of having like a specific tank like a 30 gallon then transferring them to a 10 gallon I basically just made like an entire system that I can just raise clowns and have their the pairs stay in the same section at once and have the same water parameters so they don't get all messed up and stressed and yeah <laughs> anyways um as you can see um, this is how the water will travel um, I just put an maxi jet to uh, size compare before I actually buy the pump. So um, as you can see this is going to be the refugium slash filter section. It is then going to be pumped up into each separate sections and then every section will have a small overflow box or overflow area. The water will then fall down and go back into here and then restart again as a filter. Um, this here is a front side view of the Breeding tank. As you can see, I tried to make it less messy so that I could put it in a corner that is right next to my semi gallon. Yep, so far, so good. Um, I will then have to silicone the pieces of acrylic together. And just in case, if you're wondering, it's all blurry because I still haven't taken the wrapper off. Just in case, if I did anything and I scratched it just on accident, this will still protect it. But, um, yeah, um, I do plan on putting a small um, double bright or single bright Marineland LED on here just for um, filtration, um, for light. I will probably do a 36, the 36 ones that could stretch to 48 inches so that these side tanks, which I'm hoping to be able to support the fries, will be light, less lighted and we'll be able to support the fries more. Yeah, so um, just want to make a quick video on the progression of the breeding tank so far. And stand, I still need to work on that, so hopefully I'll be, finish, be able to finish that um, by tomorrow because Saturday and Sunday will be Max Marine Aquarium Expo. I will try to attend that, so if any of you reefers out there are going, I'll probably be able to run into you. So, um, yeah, just a ch short video on the progression of the breeder tank. Um, I will continue to update, um, update on the progression. And um, please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.